Hi there, this is Invasion. Today I'm going to give you a really, really useful tip when it comes to compositing, selecting and moving layers. Now here's the tip. Suppose you created a design, that this is an arbitrary design, and you wanted to move this text, okay? So you would click and move, but this won't move. The background image moves. Why? Because the background image layer is selected. Now, if you want to move this, you have to select this text layer and then move it, which is kind of a hassle. If you have a lot of layer, finding that will be a problem. Now, you might say, well, there is something called auto select. I'll just check that. And if you check auto select, yes, you can just click and drag anything and that will move. You can just click and that layer will automatically be selected. But here's the problem with auto select. Suppose you're working with composite with lots of layers, ton of layers, and you zoomed in, okay? Auto select is checked and you're working on something, okay, you zoomed in, you're working on something and you accidentally moved it just like that. You think the canvas moved, but in reality, the image moved, have a look here, the image has moved a little bit. Now that can create a problem. Now here's the solution and here's the main tip. Check off auto select. And whenever you want to move something by clicking it, here's what you need to do. Hold the control or command. When you hold the control or command, momentarily the auto select gets checked and then you can move whatever you want. And if you hold the control, if you're using the latest version of Photoshop, it will show the pink lines around the things over which you hover. Okay, so you want to move this, it will show the pink line only then you move it. Okay, then you move it. Okay, hold the control, move it, hold the control, move it. Right? So that was the tip. Hope that was helpful. And if that was, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks and tutorials. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.